the 6000 mAh large battery still has such a lightweight and high-performance IQ00 turbo to dominate the strongest mid-range machine, the IQ Z9 Turbo. The 6000 mAh large battery is the same ultra-thin Blue Ocean battery in the Vivo X100 series, which has a continuous heavy battery life of 4 hours without interruption. After testing, it consumes 32% of power and there is absolutely no problem with daily use for 2 days. In addition, it has an 80 watt fast charge, which can be quickly charged after a long time. Although the battery is large, it is only 7.98 mm thick and weighs 194.9 grams, making it very lightweight and comfortable to use. Playing games for a long time won't tire you out. As the first turbo, its performance is indeed very strong. The Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 which is unique in the price range of $280 combined with the dual green display chip turbo, has been tested at 60Hz with an average frame rate of 61.1, almost in a straight line. Moreover, due to the 6 Kelvin canopy VC liquid cooling system, which has the largest heat dissipation area in IQ history, the highest temperature of the gentian impact is 47.6 degrees Celsius. The feeling of holding it in hand is not very obvious, and the temperature performance is really good. It has always been equipped with super realistic and mobile ray tracing technology. It has both three-dimensional vibration and all of these, making playing games very enjoyable. The front is a 6.78 inches 144Hz high brush anti-flicker eye protection screen without a screen holder, which looks very good. Overall, the iq z 9 Turbo has a long endurance, strong performance, and a great feel. Do you think it can dominate the strongest mid-range aircraft? If you don't have as many processors when playing games and become the third generation Snapdragon 7, without a dedicated graphics chip. But the Z9, which is almost identical to the Turbo, is very suitable, with guaranteed performance and long battery life. How would you choose a good hand feel?